Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy here and wow well, um, Just want to take a little bit of time here to talk about or really pretty much just say goodbye Or and not really goodbye, I guess because he's just switching formats a little bit, but still goodbye to epics 911 and um, I even reached out to him and tell him I was going to make this video because he knows, you know, I mean, I was one of those people that was with him from the very first time when he first switched over into doing uh, mostly VR news and before he kind of nailed down into his format and everything like that. But when he was just, you know, jumping in, cheers, everyone, taking a sip and and starting to talk about the news and everything like that. And so as I wanted to talk about it and say my goodbyes, I wanted to um, play the video and kind of make a few comments as we, um, as I go along with the video, actually, you know what I mean? Because I think like, um, there's some things that, yes, I, um, I agree with him on, but there are certain things that I think is kind of was out of his own control. So I think he was a little too hard on himself and and uh, hopefully that it won't go too far from VR that maybe when things kind of pick back up you might want to jump back in so um let me go ahead and play this video and make this comment as i say goodbye to epix 911 cheers guys epix 911 welcome to uh, i'm going to try to make this an optimistic video definitely not a sad video um if i look and sound pretty matter of fact it's because I've had quite a while to digest this. Being a stats guy, my finger has been on the pulse of the channel, literally from the beginning. Mm. So for me, yeah, it's something true. I've digested yeah. for a while. And that's just the end of the channel, the realism of it. Again, not a sad thing. I learned so much from this and have appreciated your guys' support so much. I'm going to take that energy. I'm going to focus it elsewhere and the things that I've learned, which I'm going to get into if you're curious and you have questions and. All right, cool. I was just testing out something to see if I could pause when I wanted to pause and everything like that. You, you know, want answers to those questions before the videos people. just simply stop. I'm going to do my best to provide that. If you don't care about that, please allow me just an opportunity to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for allowing my channel to be part of your YouTube watch time. That's meant a lot to me, guys. We started the journey back in May of 2016, mm. almost two years. And whether you supported me on Patreon and really... Now, it's kind of crazy to think, right? And when he just mentioned that, he started back in May 2016. Because I actually was been following him from, I think, about june because i i think i remember he was doing something like he was complaining about not getting his rift in the mail just yet but i've already gotten his vibe even though he had ordered his vibe after he had ordered his rift you know what i mean and i was just telling him how i had just gotten mines and everything like that and then you know he became someone that i just started to follow he was um you know breaking out the news and actually help put me on to a lot of things that pointed me. And so when he says, maybe matter of factly for him, because he knew it was coming, but man, it was a shock to me because I was really surprised to hear this because I, he was one of the um, YouTubers that I actually looked up to when it came to um, this whole VR stuff. You guys, that was such a boost back in October when I was gonna stop then that uh, it allowed me to do another four or five months of truly being able to say I've exhausted everything and simply put, wasn't able to grow the brand. All right, now, this right here, like right there, I think he was growing a brand, you know what I mean? I kind of saw Epix as, well, 
in no other way to put it but the anchor man of VR. You know what I mean? He was just getting his footing as he came down and he kind of broke down the news of what's going on around and kind of because let's say VR news right now is a whole lot of fluff. There's not actually anything there there for most of us. You know what I mean? There's not this really big game for us to stay overly engaged in. And sadly for him, that's why he hasn't been grown. It's not because he hasn't grown a brand for himself. It's just that there's not enough interest in VR stuff currently right now. And I think for him, you know, I mean, I really hope he will reconsider jumping out. I know it's hard work. Uh, believe me, I have a really small page. Um, you know what I mean? Pale, you know, I started roughly a, a couple of months after I met him. And, you know, I, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do my page. But I always wanted to be just mostly about games and like the seated experience. You know what I mean? And but to watch his page grow from a couple hundred all the way up to 6,000 was amazing. And I kind of looked up to that. Like, you know what I mean? Once I found my own voice and once I did my own thing to get that found, because his engagement of the way he, people talk with him and everything like that is phenomenal. You know what I mean? He, he starts a lot of conversation, which I think is going to be truly missed, you know? And, and that's one of the things that I, I hope that, like I said, I know how he feels because... It's really, really hard to try and get any kind of traction with anything VR right now. You know what I mean? And and I'm I wanted to make sure I reached out to him before I even made this video because I didn't want to seem like, you know, just jumping on some kind of thing because to use his exit as a way to but I just wanted to say like, man, you should still and I know I'm rambling on, but that's because this is something I guess it's somewhat emotionally because I look at you as a friend, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you're the one that put me on to, you know, Elite Dangerous and, and, and told me to, to get the voice attack. And that was a phenomenal thing in my first couple of days of um, on VR. And, and, and that meant a lot to me because I put a lot of hours into that Elite Dangerous, even though I still like suck at the, the firefighting and everything like that. And you, you, you know, told me to, to go after um, Project Cars. And that turned out to be an awesome bat, even though I still suck at driving. But it was just still trying something new, you know, because you said like, hey, in VR, try something new because something that you might have not liked before, you might find some way to enjoy it now, which was totally true, you know. And I still jump in and race my car from time to time. I'm not still not any good at it, but it's just fun to kind of escape in that world and drive a type of car that I, I can't drive in real life. As I digress back to the thing, those are all the things that you, in your subtle way, help me, you know what I mean, personally. And I'm pretty sure there's thousands of other people out there that feels the same way. And I think, too, right, once VR still hasn't hit his critical mass yet, you know what I mean? And your, build, your brand is being built as someone who's trusted with the information that he's handing out. And that is going to come in huge in the future, you know what I mean? Because you're, like I said, you're one of those people that I go to for my news. And when I go to you and you say this and you say that, I'm like, it makes me, sometimes I might think certain things about that news when I read it myself or when I come and listen to you and I'll be like, you know what? He did have a point about that. And I can kind of see about this. And that kind of helps the whole community grow forward. And when people start saying like, hey, where I find VR news, I'm pretty sure your name is going to start to come up a lot more, man. So it, it's a shame to see you jump out right now. I hope you really, really, really reconsider. You know what I mean? I know you don't want to half-ass it. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe, you know, cut down news to like three times a week. You don't have to do those playthrough like everyone else. You know what I mean? Like you, you're like the news guy. You know what I mean? You can put up, I like how you had like the, you know, almost like the news things that's popping up on the side and everything like that. I thought that was awesome and very creative, you know. So, hey, man, um, I didn't want to use up and play up too much of your video and everything like that. I just wanted to um, 
get to you part past the point where you're saying thank you because I also wanted to thank you too. And then get the gist of what, you know, in the beginning. I know you broke down it all into analytics and everything like that. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, replay that for everyone again. I just wanted to take my time to say I want to also thank you for being a part of my, um, you know, some place for me to go for when I need something about VR, right? And, and, and I hope whatever you do next that you become, you know, 10 times as successful. But I do wish you would hold on just a bit more because I feel like VR is coming to the... Once we can get... We're still working out the mechanics of games. But when we can get those down and we can get that one big game, guys like you are going to be... The ones who are trusted with the information is going to be huge. You know what I mean? I, I see you getting to a point where you get to do, like, interviews with, like, Jason Rubin and all those other guys and, and like, talking to them. You know what I mean? Instead of just reading you know what i mean maybe being your own newsmaker at some point instead of just reporting it like the, those websites do you know what i mean because vr is a visual thing and to just constantly read word you know what i mean doesn't get it across but all right man that's all i wanted to say